Comey covered up massive Obama admin spying activities on U.S. public, including citizen Trump. As reported in prior posts, a massive amount of data on 47 hard drives obtained from a government whistleblower was turned over to Freedom Watch recently. The information proves prior President Obama and his government spied on anyone they wanted to. In a new report coming from Big League Politics by way of whistleblower Dennis Montgomery, it was revealed that Comey acquired this evidence of government surveillance of Donald Trump before he became president. Larry Klayman, from Freedom Watch, the attorney for ex-NSA CIA contractor and whistleblower Dennis Montgomery, gave the FBI 47 hard drives and data, which ultimately meant 600 million pages of documents related to the surveillance scheme. At the time, Comey was FBI director and his general counsel, James Baker, took the data. And despite now being in possession of this bombshell revelation, the FBI under Comey did absolutely nothing to act on the information or publicize it. As was previously reported by Big League Politics, Timothy Blixith, a real estate mogul, revealed that he saw records from Dennis Montgomery that prove Obama's CIA director John Brennan oversaw and spied on the phone calls of Donald Trump as well as millions of other American citizens. The audio tape, which was released as part of a civil case, can be found below, Big League Politics reports, in the audio taped interview, conducted before Trump ever ran for president, Blixith spoke to former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio and Detective Mike Zello. The audio was released in connection with a civil contempt case that the Department of Justice filed against Arpaio. The audio of this conversation appears to only be preserved in one location on the internet, on a whistleblower SoundCloud page. This guy showed me 900 million phone calls. And I see myself in there. I see people I know. I see Donald Trump in there a zillion times, and Bloomberg is in there, Blixith said on the tape, referring to information that Montgomery allegedly showed him. The story then gets a bit more finite with a second audio tape being revealed, Dennis Montgomery told Zalo in a separate interview, also preserved and released on audio tape, that he gained entry to a Lockheed Martin facility in Los Angeles to work on the surveillance program on a supercomputer contained at the facility. James Comey served as an executive at Lockheed Martin from 2005 until 2010. An insider close to the story estimates that Montgomery gained access to the facility in 2009, at the beginning of the Obama administration, but that date is only a close estimate. Clayman has now called on the House Intelligence Committee Chairman Rep. Devin Nunes to hear Montgomery's testimony. Listen to the audio tape below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 Hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.